Welcome back to the Mind Watercolor, everybody. You know, if you follow me on Facebook, you probably saw my post about doing a review of this pocket sketchbook. Erwin Lian is a artist based in Singapore. He did a Kickstarter campaign where he raised the funds to produce this. He calls it the perfect sketchbook. This is a pocket version. Not only was it successful, it was very successful. Essentially, he raised the funds to produce this book and all of his backers received one. And it's just an amazing book. Now, I'll hasten to say before I get into it, this book's not available anymore. He has another book now that he's raising funds for, and this is the reason for me doing this video, is to kind of give you an idea of the workmanship and the background of what went into these and give you a very fleeting chance, I might add, to pick up one. The new book is a B5. It's a much larger book, as you can see it here. But just like with this smaller pocket book, he uses an artist quality paper, and that's what sets it apart. It's a high quality sewn binding, hard bound, fine grain leather cover, nice elastic closure there. The thing that sets it apart is this high quality artist grade paper. Now if you shop very much for pocket sketchbooks or really any watercolor sketchbooks, you know that one of the things you run across is compromises on the paper. And mostly that's for cost. I just wanted to make you aware of it. It is a chance to own something special. I'm going to put all the links down in the description and you really ought to check them out because the story is amazing. Just from the binding process to he's got great links in there from how the paper's produced to he's got excellent tips from pros, videos on the bindery process and on the making of the paper. By November 27th, these books are going to be gone. The bigger B5 book, this book is already gone. And trust me, you can look all you want and you're not going to find a watercolor sketchbook anywhere like this. So I'm going to do a quick demo. I'm anxious to paint in this book and see what it's like. The new B5 book uses a Fabriano Artistico paper, and I can personally vouch for that. I don't even have to try it. I've tried it before. It's fantastic paper. To get a sketchbook with that kind of grade of paper in it is unheard of. So I'm going to do a little demo here. I had hoped to be able to actually do this outside, plain air, but I wanted to get this video done quickly because this campaign is ending and my light's failing today. I went outside and took a picture. This is always something I wanted to sit and paint. This is not a very good picture, but it's just to give me hints and clues. This is a kind of a gnarly limb on a ornamental plum I have outside. And since the light's failing, I'm just gonna pretend as if I'm outside <laughs> painting. I've quickly sketched out the limb here and we're gonna try out this sketchbook and I'm really excited to try this. I'm actually using my travel brush. Uh, could just as well use a water brush. Uh, but since I'm inside, I'm going to go ahead and use this travel brush. And I'm going to use my Sennelier pocket sketch box of paints. And this is going to be the first time using these. Starting off with a light wash of sepia. If any of you have seen my collaboration with Angela Fair. You saw my use of sepia and Payne's gray. And I'm doing that again, mainly because it's a tree branch and also it's a good underpainting. They make great sketching colors. And I'm just lightly going to put in some values here. And it's great because I can already see I can treat it like I can with regular artist grade paper. You have to sometimes modify your painting approach with these sketchbooks because they don't have artist grade paper. They usually have some kind of compromise. So with sepia, I'm gonna start dabbing in some, some darks that will bleed out. A lot of really gnarly bark configurations on this tree. I will probably introduce more colors later on in this uh, little 
sketch. Um, but sepia makes a great underpainting and value color. I'm going to start dropping in these branches. I'm adding a little more of a red brown here. It's actually a burnt sienna. This is where I'm departing a little from the from the sepia. But I'll probably dab in some sepia to where I want to tone it down. I'm using a silver black velvet pocket brush. Silver black velvet brushes are one of my absolute favorites. I give each of these little branches here some shadow. Separate them in the tree trunk. So now I'm just going to go in with the Payne's Gray and shadow some of the cooler areas. Or I guess I should say some cool color in the shadow areas with Payne's Gray. There's some shadows falling across this limb. It's kind of neat. I'm just going to finish up by strengthening the shadows on these little new growth limbs with on the shadow side with a uh, watercolor pencil. Good way to detail in that shadow. You can add any other little details you want to with the pencil while you're at it. So I'm thinking it's not a bad idea to carry one or two of these with you. Well, that's pretty much it for my test. It's a great little book. I hope you'll go check out his Indiegogo page. Even if you're not interested in buying the book, there's some just some really interesting links and videos there on painting and sketchbooks and pro tips. And it's just, it's a neat story to see what he's done. All for the passion of being able to paint in the best sketchbook he can imagine. I'm... Happy to be a part of it. I'm thrilled to be able to have my hands on one. I'm very impressed on what Irwin was able to accomplish. And I look forward to the B5 book. I backed him for a couple of those. And I can't wait to get them. Thanks everyone. Hope this was a help to you. If it was, like the video. If you want to see more of this kind of content, then subscribe. We'll see you next time.